I've been waiting a long time for this. Fears to Fathom, episode two. How about that? If you guys haven't checked the first one, obviously, go and check that out. I'll be... I probably already linked it in the intro. I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I'm that smart. <laughs> so if... Uh, well, it doesn't have a store that's connected to this one. So what you can do is check it afterwards. Perfect. Episode playtime, about 40 minutes. So let's try to slap this out in one go, shall we? I mean, I don't know how it's gonna go, but the one that's left at the end will know. All right, here we go. Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. Oh boy, I just love the feel of this game, the looks of it. You guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. I'm probably gonna repeat it many times during the playthrough. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out, it might actually help. Even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loved gaming conventions. I go to every convention I get a chance to and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would be way too expensive. This convention I was at, it went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. All right, wait, what's going on? Whoa, my car is driving by itself. What, what is going on? I don't think this is supposed to happen. Am I actually inside the car? It tells me to get out. Wait, no, car, stop it. This is not it. Supposed to go? What did I do? No! Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, so apparently night drives are really therapeutic. Uh, let's get out here. So, yeah, hopefully this is gonna go way better than last time. The car seems to be staying where it's supposed to be when I'm outside. We don't have the ghost car. Damn, what a beginning to that. I was like, wait, is this a part of the game? And then obviously it wasn't. We can't, obviously we can't have a ghost car driving around. That's not what it's all about. It's about hitchhiking. All right, can I get in here again? I have huge trouble just getting into my car. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, let's see, put the gear in. And here we go, we're off. I do like night uh, night uh, drives myself because it's so calm, right? You don't have any cars about, but maybe not these small roads. They do scare me a little bit. Okay, we got a text message. So we're going to be the... What do you call that? We're going to be the grown-up one. Is that... No, grown-ups do text and drive, don't they? We're not going to be an idiot. Let's put it like that. <laughs> Let's see what we have. So we have a message from Aiden Williams. Oh, wait. Is that me? No, it's not. So Aiden Williams... All right, we need a voice for Aiden. Let's see, Aiden. I can imagine you sound a little, but a little bit like this. What do you mean? I'm stick. <laughs> I'm stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. Oh, that sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, that's it. It seems like we have another mes message right here. Okay, so dad. Mm, we need a voice for that as well. Let's see. Let's do this one. Drive safe, Ollie. Don't forget to call me. You got it, dad. I'm leaving now. Drive safe, Ollie. Yeah, so I think uh, dad sounds scary, dude. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's take off. Oh, another one. Okay, we're gonna turn... <sighs> This is, Dad, I'm driving right now. I, I really want to get home. Okay, I think we're good, right? Where did you reach? 
Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. All right, let's go. Oh, what's that? I'm out of fuel? Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh my god, isn't this typical? Every time you go out for a drive, refuel before you go. Always need to refuel. Doesn't matter how much you have in the tank. Refuel. God is texting a lot. Just write everything in one sentence, you piece of shite. I told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Yeah, I don't like daddy boy. He's being very condescending right now. That's the right word, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Jesus. If I keep going like this, this playthrough is gonna take a long time. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it, though, I think. It's gonna be... Oh! Person, all right. Keep on driving. If you... S oh, here we go. It's the... Oh, it's the gas station. Never mind. It was he was just out for a pee. Sorry for screaming there. All right, let's go up here. Actually, I don't know if you guys know. If you look at your just like this icon on your on your car, it usually says an arrow right or left. That tells you which side your gas or petrol hole <laughs> is. I didn't know that for the longest time. I think I learned that like two years ago. Go, if you don't believe me, go out check. All right. Oh, that's actually something. So I take this is the place where the attendant sits and helps you uh, like fill petrol into your car. That is actually one thing I was so confused by when I went to the States. Because here, because here in Sweden, we fill up our own cars. We go out, we put the pump in and we pump our own gas. When I was in America, it was so weird driving up and you have this petrol uh, attendant or whatever you call it and I was like all right what do you want how much do you want I don't fucking know just fill it out <laughs> I was really nice I was just really confused damn dude I really like the style of this game I really do it reminds me of that horror game that I played chasing static that's what it reminds me of all right let's see what we got here so we got some snacks we got some water I wonder if the water is free mom holy Mum. All right, that's all. All right, dude. This music in the background is just making it. It's just making me very uneasy. And what is this guy doing? <laughs> this guy got rigor mortis. Look at him. Look at him go. Yeah, let's talk to this fella right here. Hey, fella, how's it going, ma'am? Can I get a ten dollar on pump two? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. You're heading to the bridge by yourself. The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of the year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Can I use the toilet? Ooh, I kind of just want to go. Thank you for the gas. But I also want to use the toilet because I think something is going to go down if I do. It's not cleaned. Well, that's not what I asked, dude. And one more thing. Oh, let's make it a little bit creepy. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Oh, I just want to... Who is she? Is Lauren Main? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on a prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever any any what <laughs> Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstance pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Okay, thank you for the warning. So I guess we're gonna see this lady. Are we gonna go and check for the bathroom? Kind of, oh, mom! I don't know if you find any stop at this hour. We're out of dog food. 
Could you get something from Milo? I'll pay you back. All right, mom. Thanks. I'm just gonna fucking yonk that then. <laughs> get out, run! God damn it, that will be fine. Okay, pay. There we go, can we go now? Look at me just trying to steal stuff. <laughs> it's not the first game, is it? I'm just a thief. <laughs> I'm just a dirty, dirty thief. Oh, look at that. So we saw a guy in there and we have the pickup right there. Oh, dude. I could just put this in the trunk. All right, we can do that. Good enough. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, we filled up. We got the dog food. Just drive. Never stop. I actually do agree with the whole thing not to picking up hitchhikers. If I was a hitchhiker myself, I would love to get picked up. But being on the road, you do realize the thing. Thank you for interrupting me. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Oh, fuck no. Oh, what was that? Okay, mom. You know what? I'm, I'm starting to get scared, so I'm just gonna read and drive on at the same time. Oh, wait, what did you just say? Oh, my light just went out. Stop it. It's not expired or anything, right? What the fuck do you think I am? That's such a stupid question. Oh, it's flickering. Oh, there's a car in front of us. Oh, I don't like this. You know what happens when it flickers? Supernatural stuff. Ghosts. Oh, dude, if there's going to be a ghost in the, my my passenger seat, I'm just going to shite myself. All right, let's uh, let's uh, pass this guy. Oh, he's speeding up when I'm trying to. <gasps> okay, he's a killer. This is the bridge he was talking about. If we see a woman, just keep on driving. This remind me. This reminds me of Supernatural episode one. You know, the vengeful spears, uh, spirit on the bridge. Oh, dude, stop it. Stop it. Where is Sam and Dean when you need them? Okay, we made it through. Dude, what happened here? Look at those trees. It looks like there's been a fire around here, right? Oh, that's another car. Just keep on driving. If we see something, let's just close our eyes and keep on driving. Or, oh. Larry, keep off the road. God damn, buddy. Ooh, what's this on the left? Is that not a bridge? Oh, the flickering starts again. Okay, we weren't... Wait, what was that? I kind of want to go there. There's a very weird thing about that night. There... Wait. I saw two big logs drive past the log. But it wouldn't budge. All right. So do we need to get out? What did I just read? I actually don't know. I was thinking about something else while I, while I was reading. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Good thing you got subtitles. It's almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put them there, but I don't think much of it at the at the time. Oh no! Is this gonna be someone that's just uh, gets in on into my car like the trunk? Oh dude, I fucking know what it is. Have you guys heard this creepy pasta about one that? Uh, like stopped at the road seeing a mannequin and then when she got back into the car got back home holy shit I'm terrified I can't speak there was this psycho in the back of a car Do you guys uh, have you guys heard that one I don't even know if I made sense right there All right, leave that there. Leave it! Fucking drop the log, dude. You had to move the logs to go ahead. It's fucking moved, dude! Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, it's smoking. Yeah, someone has been fingering my car while I was moving logs. Fuck. Standing in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Did you hear that howl? 
but I wouldn't be lying if I was to say, okay, slightly uh, unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... But what? Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh, this is... What, okay, we're gonna be hitchhiking here, aren't we? I had no choice. All right, okay. Don't st Okay. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. I mean, it doesn't seem too cold outside. Maybe just fucking stay in the car. 10.23 p.m. It's fucking rude. Pure evil. <laughs> Pure evil. I don't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Dude, haven't you seen horror movies? I'm pretty sure you have. Let's get our dog food. 10.43. Okay, 20 minutes later. Dude, can you hear it? I'm getting stressed right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, dude. This is the guy. This is going to be the guy that walked out in the woods in the beginning, wasn't it? Mm, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure, but who gives a shite, right? All right, let's put the <laughs> dog food right there. Let's jump in. Oh, this is the guy in, with rigor mortis, isn't it? The rigor mortis guy. Oh, yeah, you're the girl from the gas station. Hi. What are you trying to do out here? I'm th I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road. Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. All right. I'm just gonna steal my stuff, isn't it? Aspa. <laughs> All right, feller. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. I'm done. Finally, now hop in, be quick. <laughs> oh, look at those glasses, yep. Serial, serial killer glasses. Wait, why do you have a purse in the... Oh, is that mine, you think? Or is that his? Or his victims? So you won't tell me who you are? Where you going? I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you say so. I wonder what this car smells like. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say you one brave young woman. How is that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. Oh, he's probably the one that was tinkering with it, was he? Wasn't he? So what do you think about what they told you back at the gas station? I really... It, it, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person that's traveling down here. Why did that turn into <laughs> to his voice? All right, let's talk a little bit to him. So is it true? What the monster? Let's see if I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are. There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Ooh, we heard the movement in the bushes though, didn't we? Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron and just remember this. You don't bother them and you don't be bothered. All right, so would this be something like you don't bother nature? Is there some kind of nature stuff going on? You know, if you don't fuck around with the nature, they won't fuck around with you. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. All right. What do you mean? What do you mean with that? And off we go into the night. 
Alright, it's midnight. After a bit of small talk, he dropped me off by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Beside, I thought I could use a little bit of rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Yeah, you're one of them, aren't you? No, I don't think he would be, right? Roadway in, okay. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? <laughs> Why do you start a conversation like that? How much is it for a room? 40 for a single. Pay cash only. Let's pay him. 40? Isn't that expensive for a motel on the side of a road like this? Maybe not. I don't know. Room number nine. Right over there. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. What the fuck? Why are you guys so hostile up here? Weird, dude. Okay, room nine. Let's see. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? What do you mean, reroute? Why are you not picking up your call, dad? I may have to stay at the motel tonight. All right, not delivered. <sighs> hey, where you at? Your dad is calling me. Holly, stop bothering me. This is stressing me out. Phones in real life really do stress me out. All right, we got our room. It's nice and warm inside. Dude, that's a big thick telly. Expect there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get from, okay, something. I didn't have time to read that. Okay, so apparently there was a <laughs> My fucking heart. What are you doing in here? You scared the crap out of me. Hey, 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 hey. Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn, Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in the Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff? Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make this room. I'll just get my stuff. Fucker. <laughs> that scared me so much. I don't re I don't even remember what I was talking about. Let's just throw this in real quick. Oh my fucking god, Tommy! Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. Also, the room's phone is not working. If needing anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> Look at his face. But you have a good night. Oh, he's going. Yeah, he's off. I thought it would do that in the morning, but... Okay, let's check this again. Alright, so what do we do now? I got all my stuff, right? Let's sleep a little bit. <laughs> With all our stuff. Oh. Bro, what are you doing? Call it foresight, but there was something very off about that place. Dude, what the fuck? It didn't... Yes! It was... he, he peeked through the window, dude! Oh, is that just something... Pe is someone peeing? Overcoming by anxiety. Okay. A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. 
All right, are we going out? Do we have a coffee maker in here? No, all right. Let's go and see. If... Okay, better check that first. Let's go and see if there's any coffee around, right? <laughs> We're gonna be so jacked up on sugar and coffee. We're gonna be able to run all night long. We're gonna run. We're just gonna run home. <laughs> Okay, is that a person that's standing there? Wait, what's going on? What is that? What the fuck? Am I drugged? What was in that coffee? Oh my god, everything is reversed as well. Dad? What do you want? Oh my god, I can't read that. Oh my god, someone's gonna be in my room. I'm fucking sure about it. Go and lay down. Let's close the door as well. Oh, this sound, dude. Okay, let's sleep that off. Damn, yeah, we're drugged. Someone drugged the coffee. Someone spiked the shite out of that. Three AM. I was sedated. Yeah, you were. Wait, it works. Whoa! All my stuff were moved. It's a transmitter. That was Tommy, wasn't it? Dude, what the actual fuck? Ah! Oh my god, fuck! Oh, 3 a.m., here we go. I was sedated, let's try this again. So we gotta creep inside our motel room. And we don't wanna open that once again, do we? Here we go. He's gonna go in there and he's gonna hide. He knew we were, were waking up and the phone should be ringing. No? Oh! Knocking? Who is it? Joe from the front desk. Open the door. Hey, Joe, help me. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? What goofy noises? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why you ha why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have a coffee machine here. It's right over there, dude. We drank from it. Okay, okay. Here, I had enough of you crazy goons here. But once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. All right, let's lead him over here. It's that guy who lives in there, isn't it? He just carries a coffee machine with him to drug people. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Be a little bit... Oh, yeah, he really hates his job, doesn't he? Go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. I said, go back now. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Holy crap, this is, this is creeping me out. I don't think Joe is in on it though. Do you guys think that? Ooh, this is way creepier than the first episode. You know, the first episode was really, really creepy. Ooh, has it gone out now? No, no, no. Okay, we're not gonna go there. Let's see. Medicine by the table. Here we go. Is that a prescription? Requires water. Do we even have any water? Yeah, here we go. Let's... Can I close that? Oh, fuck. It creeps me out. Why did I open that?
Alright, let's try to get to sleep again. I would be fucking miles away from here now. Try to sleep now. No? I was a flash! Wait, what? What the fuck, dude? Fucking creep. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please. Please open the door. Do nothing. Yeah, I'm not opening that shit. I know you're in there. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away. I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Come. Fuck! Do we go in here now? Ah! I know you're in there. Pretty lady. Come, okay. All right. Oh, that's hide. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inf interfered not to get the police involved as it would affect the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. <laughs>